or in the skin, either in the wolf or in the wolf, or in anything of skin, it is a plague of leprosy and should be showed unto the priest. If the priest shall look upon the plague and shut up it that hath the plague seven days, and he shall look on the plague on the seventh day, if the plague be spread in a garment, either in the warp or in the wolf or in, in a skin, or in any work that is made of skin, the plague is a fretting leprosy, it is unclean. He should therefore burn that garment, whether warp or wolf, in woolen or in linen, or in any thing of skin wherein the plague is, for it is fretting leprosy, it should be burnt in the fire. And if the priest shall look and behold, the plague be not spread in the garment, neither in the warp or in the wolf or in anything of skin, then the priest shall command that they wash the thing wherein the plague is, and he shall shut it up seven days more. And the priest shall look on the plague after that it is washed, and behold, if the plague have not changed its color, and the plague be not spread, it is unclean. Thou shalt burn it in the fire, it is fret inward, wherefore it be bare within or without. And if the priest look, and behold, the plague be somewhat dark after the washing of it, then he shall rent it out of the garment, or out of the skin, or out of the warp, or out of the wolf. And if it appears still in the garment, either in the warp or in the wolf, or in any thing of skin, it is a spreading plague. Thou shalt burn that wherein the plague is with fire. In the garment, either warp or wolf, or whatsoever thing of skin it be, which thou shalt wash. If the plague be departed from them, then it should be washed the second time, and shall be clean. This is the law of the plague of leprosy in a garment of woolen or linen, either in the warp or wolf, or anything of skins, to pronounce it clean, or to pronounce it unclean. Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 through 50. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and brake it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. And when they had sung an hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Thou, though all men shall be offended because of thee, Yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, That this night before the cock crow, Thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, Yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then come Jesus with them Into a place called Gethsemane, And said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took him, Peter, and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples and finding them asleep. And said unto Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if the cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples and said unto them, Sleep on now. Take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be doing, going. Behold, he is at hand that doeth, doth betray me. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with a great multitude, with swords and staves, from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I should kiss, that same is he, hold him fast. 
and forthwith he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him.